morning. We're going to the boat show. Well, today we're going to the boat show. I don't know. Hang on. There you go. You're much cleaner. We're going to the boat show today. Starts at 10, goes to like 7, 6 or 7. Um, we'll just go for as long as we want to. Not many sailboats, but it's still something to do anyway. Tickets were, I think you can get them $45 for a family, but we're two concessions and our kids are all under the age of 14, so they were free. And this is Perth's International Boat Show. Look at that monster. Woo. Would you like to go and have a look? Explains everything. Being where the fish are at, we're there. We've found them on the sounder. We've got them. Let's figure out how we catch them. Being there when they're hungry, well, they're hungry-ish, obviously, but they're not that hungry that they're going to eat a pat and rig that drops on top of their head with a 32-ounce sinker. Yeah, that's the big amphitheatre across the road to where they've got boats out on the water. There's the boys. Okay, sticks. Yeah, I'm sitting down on the edge of the water. Are we in three now? Uh, this is the city max. Oh no! <laughs> Lost me shoe meal. What am I gonna do? Don't kick it. Bit of a flop, actually. Absolutely. Those are the only two sails in this whole Perth boat show and there's no other boat show on the west coast. What? I let down. Cool station. 
Good morning. Welcome to the next day of wherever we're up to. Peter's really sick. You've missed a few days in our life and that's okay. Um, we are in Bustleton. We have hired a cabin for two nights, last night and tonight. Um, Peter's really not well, so he's not with us today. It's just me and the squids. And I thought the best thing that I could do is take them to see some animals because who loves animals? Me. Who loves animals? Me. That's why. And there is a high chance that when we're done traveling Australia that we will be able to purchase a little bit of land and sort of homestead and and do that sort of thing. So I'm trying to also gather as much information on it as possible. This place is awesome. This is just out of Bustleton. Maybe like 25 minutes from Bustleton. A little veggie patch there and then you walk in this way. And there's, I think there's a few other people here. There's someone mowing over there. That's obviously where they live. I need to check that I've locked the door. I have not. Make sure I lock up. Okay, we're locked. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> they're they're a bit neglected and uh, almost dreaded, you know. Who needs to brush I know that's right. Wow. Do you want to pop your feet over here, guys? There we go. Line it up there. Yeah. This milk is for this man. Okay, so Maybe Maxi does that one. Yeah, and then these guys. Sunday. Hold it up, upside up, so the milk's up. Yeah, yeah, up, up, up. That's it. Yeah. Get up that way. Wow. <laughs> we just fed the guinea pigs and the goat. The sheep, the baby sheep. And now we're gonna walk around here. Look, there's a couple of cows. It's a goat. We've got our bags of feed and we're gonna go and feed some more animals, okay? We're gonna be sneaky. We're gonna be sneaky. Let's go. Just don't touch the fence. Oh you threw it on the ground. No no no, that's too little Eli. One whole piece. Hold it out in your hand. Pick up the piece that Millie dropped, please. He sniffed me. He's right there. All right, come on, guys. Let's move along. Max, that one has got plenty of food. Come on. It's going to follow. Keep walking. There's more animals. That's going to shock him like crazy. He's all right. Maybe he doesn't feel it. Maybe. She's got udders? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. She's a girl. Wait. Do you call goats nipples udders? Like you do cows? Hmm. I think so. See, these are things I need to learn. The fences need to be electrical, Max, to stop the animals from being able to get out. Okay, what are we here? Shetland it's Pony. It's actually a pony. Hey guys, let's do some better listening. A Shetland Pony. So we got a wee pony in here. There's pony in here. Oh, there's some donkeys behind that as well. Donkeys? How beautiful. There we go. Now you can see where you'd like to feed. Oh, <gasps> hello. Fingers straight. Does it, does it hurt? Like Why would it hurt? Oh. <laughs> Fingers straight, Millie. That's it, guys. <gasps> sneaky, sneaky. We're going to show these guys what happens when you walk near the fence with these cheeky sheepy. Ooh, hi, baby. Look at these ones. No, no. This guy. He's all mangled up because he's naughty. Look at this fence. <laughs> Look at this fence. It's all rubbed up from there. And look, the baby one always From their wool. out. The well, baby the baby one still drinks milk, honey. So that's that's kind of why. Come no. back. See? That's what they... That's what... Pick it up. Quick. I told you they were going to trick you. They don't deserve them if they're going to be tricksters. Yeah, you just take it and go. You're naughty. really naughty. So I tried to see them before. And then they 
These guys don't bite. Look at their little faces. Come here. Or do they spit? Hi, pretty. Do they spit? Not, not this? No, you want carrot. Want this? Yeah, is that what you want? They actually have really close teeth and weird teeth. Some might say you have weird teeth. This guy has weird teeth. Look how fluffy. I don't brush their teeth. This is probably the only animal that can spit. That, that No, that wants to spit. Well, I don't think it wants to spit. I think it does it as a defense thing. Gross. Looks like rubble on the double. Yeah. The, these ones are gross. <laughs> They're gross? Yeah. They got yucky teeth. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it. Mm. Yummy. Mm. This is so great that they've just got this little path for everyone to walk around. This is amazing. I think this is a great idea, don't you, Max? Mm -hmm. And it's all relatively accessible, so someone with a wheelchair could definitely come down here, which we love. Uh, that one's got crazy eyes. That's crazy eye. That one does doing You're it. You're crazy. You're crazy, sheepies. Hey, see you, babies. What else we got, Eli? Uh, What's this? A deer? Aren't you beautiful? Why? No. Oh yeah. What's you got? These are from America. Hi. <laughs> do you this guy? What do you think this one likes to eat? Carrot. Carrot? Carrot? Do you think this one likes bread? Yeah. I've got no bread. Probably there. not so much. But I think he's a bit stressed out. Look, he's worn all his fur off. You want some attention? It's one always throw off, but he's beautiful. Oh, she, sorry, she's beautiful. Gorgeous little animal. Actually, quite big because that's the same height. Just about. I am, I'm utterly terrified of big birds. Why? So, why? Uh, I am just, ah, oh, just because they, ah, oh, their, their feet and like all oh, their little snake necks. Um. I'm going to try and feed one of these things. Last oh, time this did not go. Oh my god. There is an ostrich. Ooh. Over there, look. There's an ostrich over there. <laughs> oh. This is. Ow. This is utterly. What'd you get pecked by? Ostrich. Oh, see. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I cannot even. What do those things eat? Do they eat? They eat pellets, don't they? Ow. So they're like, I'll happily feed a sheep. Oh, like, and a goat. These are goats. Ow. Oh, look at these things. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you want to film me trying to feed it, Max? Yes. Don't yes. shake it around. Try to film me. I tried. Really Mommy's much. scared of it. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold still, Max. Hold still, baby. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> now you know why Mommy's scared of them, honey. Did it hurt? Let me see. Did it just scare you though? Did it hurt? Did it just scare you? They're very aggressive in their pecking. Yeah, they pecked me. Oh, I can't even. No, I'm just going to throw it. Comfort, Eli. Hey, it's okay, buddy. Come here. Here, I'll take the camera, Bobby. This guy. He's an ostrich oh. and he is huge. He's native to Africa. He's the largest living bird. Now he looks kind of small, but he's already taller than me in his little head. Come here. Compared to an emu, he's gigantic. Absolutely terrifying. How do an emu? Look at that. Ooh, look at those feet. Look at them. Like half dinosaur legs. Utterly terrifying. And now, Eli. Pick up your bag. Maxie, pick up your bag, honey. I know, but there's more things to feed up here that you might be interested in. Boo! 
<laughs> hey, I found something sneaking over in this corner. Pigs. Hey, and they might bite, so we have to be careful. Hey, piggies, you look delicious. What do you mean? Well, how do you think you get bacon? And pork. From a piggy. From a piggy. Just, Look at their little mud pan. This is a great little area for these pigs. Tip it. No, no, no. Well, you can if you want to, but there's other things to feed. <coughs> Millie, come over here so you can see. Look at piggies. That's your mama one. That's your dad one. Is it? I think they're both females. Eli's over here playing with a stick. Hey, piggies. We fed the piggies, didn't we, Mel? Yep. They're all done. I think there's chickens next. Mm -hmm. Come on, piggies. Come on, piggies. Come on. Okay, so how cool is that? This is almost. Guys, pop your sticks down. This is like exactly what I want. This is perfect. They've got like their citrus. They've got their field there with the citrus trees. And they've got their animals spread out. You hold it. Max, can you hold it, please? And just all their different animals. Although, I don't really want to cater so much for like the different kind of animals. I want ones that will we'll benefit from, like we will benefit from in the farm, in the farm and such. Um, so, but yes, this is pretty cool it's very much exactly kind of the layout that I want to there's some duckies turkeys delicious that'll be nice come Christmas time a nice little turkey hey did you get fed last time little fella I'll chuck it down there for you hey hey chick 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 Hey, chick chick. Got your fluffy roosters. Got some duckies, some guineas, yeah. All right, well. Elijah, you're not allowed to do that, honey. Oh, look, he was all fluffed out. Okay, well, let's start with the chickens. Let's throw the chickens a couple of bits of feed. Millie's down the there with chickens. You like the chickens, Millie? Oh, these are three feathers. Oh, so cool. These are three feathers collection. Hi. Hmm? This is What's a feather. that weird thing on its head? Hey, Dad. This is a... Um, what are those? Turkey. Turkey. Um, Turkey feathers. Collect. Yeah. Feathers. Come on. Over here, guys. Oh, that guy's followed up. <laughs> That's a weird noise. Hey, buddy. You like the turkey, turkey goggle? <laughs> nice and quiet for him, okay? Come here, little fella. Come here. Hi. Now he's looking. Step to the side. He's looking for some food. He's very gentle, if you'd like to share, Max. He's very gentle. you got to hold your hand flat. You want some, Millie? Grab a couple of bits of carrot, Mill. Wait, Elijah. Grab a carrot. Grab a carrot. Grab a carrot. Okay. Oh, careful with my bag. Sorry. That's okay. Let's grab a little bit of feed. You sleep with me. Okay. You're fluffy. Look, there's some Australian trees to make it look like uh. his home. Well, he's, it is Australia, honey, so... Like, like, in the wild. Well, he kind of is wild. He's probably hand-reared. They probably had him when he was a baby. He's lonely. He's lonely, like oh that's so sad. Don't touch his eyes. Just pat his pat him here. Oh no mama. 
No mama. Yeah. Aww. Hey little fella. Why do mums abandon their babies? Well sometimes like they get hit by a car and stuff, honey. So they get hit by a car and then if someone's lucky enough they'll stop and they'll go and check and see if there was a little baby in their pouch. Sometimes there is. When they take it to shelters and, and places that will will help and look after the animals, they come to places like this. So that's nice, isn't it? Max just went ahead and said thank you so much for bringing us here, Mum. And that makes me so bloody happy. Just the sweetest. And we still have a little bit of feed left, so we might just go back to the, the stubborn little pony and offer it some more feed. And then, I'm not sure what I might do. I haven't checked my phone in a while, so I hope Pete's okay. <clears throat> might send him a message and see how he is. And then we'll go and do something else. Here's their little veggie patch. There's their veggie patch next to their house. Millie! That's enough, honey. Next to their house, which is awesome. Yeah, we'll go to the cubby house. I've just got a little bit more feed. I can feed this horsey again. Rub, rub, rub. Here you go. Use some soap. Here you go. Miller soap. Maxi soap. Let's go. Okay, Miller. Max. There you go. Rub, 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 rub. That's us. Millie, here you go. Now, rub, 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 rub. Nice. Wow, there's a sand pit to play in. I think you can have lunch. Hello. Hello. Aren't you beautiful? Hello. Hello. You a pretty boy? You a pretty boy? Oh, pretty boy. Do you want to dance? He is dancing. Can you dance? Dance, 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 dance. Dance. Good boy. Peekaboo. Uh, peekaboo. Uh, boo. Peekaboo. <laughs> what do you think, Max? A bird that plays peekaboo. Peekaboo. Are you ready? Boo. 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 Hello. Ready? Uh, boo. Uh, Boo. You're a pretty boy. What's that? See your feet? Uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Boo. Well, that was the wonky windmill. Come on. And do you know what, Max? Probably because they burnt it off. They probably burn off their land, their scrub. Um, Max, this farm's for sale too. Should we buy it? I oh, know if I had the money, mate, I probably would. It's pretty. Do they take the animals with them or do they leave them here? Oh, they'd probably have a price where they leave them in it, I'd say. But look how beautiful. Oh, I love it. Bye, Mother. <laughs> Mother, in case you didn't notice, was actually that cocky. And he's very cheeky. What a gorgeous animal. I love smart cockies. Time to hit the road, the kids are hungry. Get some lunch. What do you guys feel like for lunch? Going out for lunch. Now what do you feel like eating for lunch? Pizza. There's Lolly. And what? I've texted Pete. But he hasn't replied, so I hope he's just sleeping and resting and, and he's okay. Mom, 